We are two weeks into Project 50 and 10 weeks away from our dream wedding. Today, I'm gonna take you through everything I've been doing for workouts to lead up to the big day. I want to start off by saying that I am by no means prescribing these workouts or exercises to you. I'm just showing you what a week of working out looks like for me, based on my goals of increasing muscle tone and shape while trimming down just a little bit of fat. What works for me may not work for you, but I do hope it gives you some inspiration to create a fitness lifestyle that you love and makes you feel good. I do a four day split, which means I split my week into four workouts a week. I alternate between lower and upper body days, so two lower body days and two upper body days. Then on the other three days, I just focus on rest, recovery, getting outside for walks with my dog and my man, and healthy grocery hauls and batch cooking for the week ahead. I had to like makeshift using my resistance bands, like something at the end and something on this side so that the plates wouldn't move. This is what it looks like on this side. so. See how this doesn't allow the plates to get any closer to the machine. On this side, that is gone. So I found that when I was hip thrusting, the plates were coming closer and closer to me. And it was hitting this, which wasn't allowing me to go full range of motion, but also wouldn't allow me to put the bar back on to the plate when I was done. So this is my makeshift solution. I like to start my week off by working on legs because my body struggles to build shape and muscle tone on my lower half. So I want to come in fresh and feeling my best to work them. So my tip to you would be to always prioritize the muscle group you're trying to improve. Since I have two leg days, I like to make one leg day more of a posterior focus. So focusing more on the back half of the legs, think glute bridges or hip thrusts, deadlifts and leg curls, which is this workout here. And then on my second leg day, I'll do more of an anterior focus, so focusing more on the front half of the legs, which you'll see later. This way, I'm evenly working the front and the back of the lower half while also giving them enough time to rest and recover. Every leg day, I try to incorporate two compound exercises and two accessory exercises for a total of four exercises per workout. That might not seem like a lot, but right now I'm focusing on training for hypertrophy, so I do four sets of each exercise and around 8-12 to 12 reps for each one too, using a moderately heavy weight. So I want to make sure I have enough time to rest between sets so that I can maintain or increase the weight without injuring myself or compromising form. I budget 15 minutes per exercise, which includes warm-up sets and workout sets, making each leg day a one-hour workout and no longer. Next up, we've got upper body day. My upper body packs on muscle quite easily, so I don't have a separate dedicated day for each muscle group, like a back day or a shoulder day. I roll them all into one workout because maintenance is really my focus for my upper body. So I'm not trying to get any bigger. Since I do really want to work on improving my pull-ups, I start every upper body workout with them. I always say my body shape is really similar to a rectangle in that I don't have a defined waist to hip ratio. So if you want to make it appear as though your waist is smaller and your hips a bit bigger, definitely work on increasing muscle tone in your back. 
I like doing supersets and trisets during my upper body workouts because it allows me to hit more muscle groups in the same amount of time without competing with the rest and recovery of each muscle group too much. So while my back rests, I'll work on a non-competing muscle group like my shoulders, or while my shoulders rest, I'll work on a non-competing muscle group like my biceps. This is a really useful tip if you want to really make the most of your workout time and you aren't trying to hit new PRs for any of those muscle groups. Okay, it's day three of the four-day split, and remember, we're alternating between lower body and upper body, so that means we're back into another leg day. And since we focused on the back of our legs in the first workout, we're focusing a bit more on the front of the legs for this workout. So think quads, so squats, leg presses, lunges, leg extensions, etc. On this leg day, I typically do three compound exercises instead of two. So I do leg press, sumo squats, and split squats, and then I do one accessory exercise, which I make leg extensions. Today I came late so I didn't have time to do my leg extensions but that is okay because my legs are shaking after this workout anyway. If I ever feel like tagging on one more workout at the end of my week, which has only happened once this month, I'll just make it an accessory leg day. So think booty band work like fire hydrants, hip extensions, hip abductions, leg extensions, leg curls, etc. And then for day four, we're finishing up with upper body again. I decided to just stay home today to do this one. By no means do you need a gym membership to create a fitness lifestyle that you love. Calisthenics offers so many ways for you to just use your body weight to increase your fitness. For example, pull-ups, dips, planks, and pistol squats. If you do like resistance-based training, you can get creative by using things around your house as weights, like paint cans, water jugs, or backpacks. Or you can invest in a few affordable pieces of equipment like a set of resistance bands, dumbbells, or kettlebells. And if you're really dedicated to strength training, you can start adding on pieces like a squat rack and cable system to make your workouts even more versatile. Workouts don't need to be in a gym. They don't need to be with weights or machines, and they don't have to be what everyone else is doing. Your week of workouts should look different than mine because you're uniquely you, and the movement your body craves and responds to may not be the movement my body craves and responds to. The whole point is to create a week of workouts that serves you and makes you feel good. Because when you feel good, you look good, and you spread good, and that's what this channel is all about. If you have any fitness questions or need some inspiration, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. You can also connect with me on Instagram and TikTok at Anita Barclay Fitness. Now go create a week of workouts that you love, and I'll see you in the next one.